Uh, welcome to our review of Fast X, the 10th film in the Fast and the Furious franchise. This one directed by series newcomer Louis Leterrier. Uh, screenplay by a different guy, Dan Maziao. Uh, and I got to say... Um, I don't know about you guys, but I've been somewhat of a champion of these films. Yeah, uh, you have. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Now, I didn't like the last one all that much, but I definitely liked it better than you guys. I like going to these things because they're big, dumb, they're stupid, there's explosions, <laughs> there's set pieces, right? And, and, and then the f family, family, you know, all that, that, that jazz, right? And, and the hero worship and the muscles of Vin Diesel. He's always got to do something. He's got to have his moment. And here's the thing is I unfortunately – I got. I, I don't know how you guys feel, but uh, this maybe I am joining your ranks now because this was fucking dumb. It was stupid, and uh, it was honestly uh, a little unbearable. And while that's uh, some, I can already hear the typing. That's, uh, that's what they're supposed to be. to be. I'm the one that said that. You don't need to tell me <laughs> that. They're dumb. They're like stupid fun is what I called these films previously, right? Well, this is just stupid, stupid now, unfortunately. I don't know may, if I'm in a particular mood or what's going on, um, but I just felt like this one didn't work. It, it, the magic of the previous ones is lost here. That, I think, is in a combination. I tried to figure it out. I'm going to give you reasons for it, Okay. Because uh, I know I'm already being downvoted because Alex told me that this one is rated higher than the last one. Even higher. And I feel like I'm in fucking bizarro world now because what the fuck is going on? Uh, and so I will give you reasons why I didn't enjoy this one as much as the last one. And as previous uh, Fast films, I think Fast 7 probably one of the, be one of the best ones. Uh, and that, I think it's attributed to the new director and this particular writer, this screenplay. Uh, those two guys that I just finished mentioning, they're different from the people that did uh, Fast 9. They're also the different from the people that did Fast 8. Uh, and so I think maybe some of it lies there. Uh, different from Fast 7 as well. So the, I, maybe they weren't quite up to the task. And there, this film is overstuffed with characters and stupid dialogue, stupid moments. And what's even worse is we have goddamn fucking pointless plot, subplots that go nowhere, that add nothing, and our focus is on the wrong characters. We have several new characters introduced as if we don't already have enough new characters, uh, enough characters to deal with in the first place, which is already a problem in this film because everybody, you know, writes their own script. I gotta have the cool moment. Now it's my time to have a cool moment. And, and, and then we're adding new characters. Now, I will say... The one saving grace of this particular one is Jason Momoa. Mm -hmm. I think Jason Momoa is having a great fucking time, and he injects the energy in an otherwise tired franchise. I think we're losing it by the 10th. And this film ends like it's motherfucking Empire Strikes Back. Like it deserves like a trilogy in its own. And I'm like, oh, God, so it doesn't even end in a satisfying way that you were hoping for, uh, and they're going to make more family, Joe. So um, that's how I feel about it. I think Brie Larson, it, who is added here, has no fucking purpose. Uh, the, she had the MacGuffin, so we needed <laughs> to have her. And then finally, I excuse all this stuff. I do excuse all this, and I know y'all excuse all it, the people, the fans of the franchise, because I was for previous films. For the set pieces, for the ridiculousness, right? I just don't think the set pieces here are that good. What do we get? We we get a fucking ball uh, rolling down and uh, like a fucking League? thing. Yeah, and it's fucking, fucking Rocket And then League. we get we saw w the other thing. We get the trailer thing where he pulls down the helicopters with his car. What else do we get? C cannon car that rocket jumps. It's, it's, but these aren't as cool as previous times going to space and fucking submarines and fucking tanks and shit. It's it's 
And there were moments in this, this, these melodramatic moments that reminded me of Fast and the Furious Crossroads, Joe. Mm. That the, the shit was going into video game you know, territory. And what I mean is we're already in stupid territory. We're already talking about stupidness, right? But there's a certain area where you go cringe stupid mm. rather than fun, dumb fun popcorn stupid. And that's where I think this thing went. Uh, bad child acting with uh, Vin Diesel's Be- character's son. And just, yeah. That's not to say there's not moments of fun here and there, because there is. Uh, but it's just not working for me anymore at that level. If I was watching a marathon or we were to review all of these right no. in our Marvels. No. Remember how we did it for fucking Marvel? That was DC. We got to do one for Marvel. We got to do one for this one. Y'all are no, no. I, don't, I haven't seen them. I so think I, I think we, we need to do it, but... We gotta let them play this out, it's and a, this yeah, film in a new series of I don't know what they plan to do trilogy or maybe two to wrap this storyline on because they have so many fucking characters. There's after an after credit scene sequels. Um, I'll read uh, their plans for the sequel, but once that's wrapped up, may, maybe we can do an overall. This is one basically that I would want to skip or that I would fast forward through uh, some of its parts because it's uh, yeah. Not good. So that's my spiel. Uh, which one of you want to go next? Uh, I went into this uh, thinking this was going to be garbage. Uh, and I came out thinking I was right. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, had, garbage. I had a couple of beers. I was like, okay, I know what this is going to be. The only person that had fun in that movie theater was Jason Momoa. Mm-hmm. He's the yep. only one that had fun. Yeah. Other than that, like, okay, the Rocket League, okay, like, it was kind of chaotic. I was like, all right, this is going to be dumb fun. Right. But then they ruin it. Trying to be serious. Will these serious moments you. take you out? You're like, okay, this is cringe. I'm rolling my eyes. Nobody really gives a shit about this. We're here for the stupidity. And all the cool action scenes kind of, they're just there for, for like, amusement. Mm-hmm. They're jingling like, some keys or something because there's no tension. There's no. nothing. No. So you don't really there, care. There's no You're tension. Like, okay, there's no stakes. There's cool. no risk. No. You're expecting characters to, like, in... Jason Momoa, they try to position him. Oh, he was the son of a guy in one of the previous films. It doesn't and make then sense, they, though. Then they refilm some of the thing and take old footage. You even get to see Paul Walker again at the beginning. And they say, oh, Jason was there the whole time. No, he fucking wasn't. Yeah, he's and like, you took my family from me. He's like, motherfucker, you're 40. You could have had your own family, done your own thing. Thank you. That's Why what I was going to say. He didn't take your family. You're the one that did all He also says, this. I don't like my father very much. <laughs> And then several points, he's like, you took that away from me. He's like, nobody took nothing away from you. It's like, yeah, your father died. You're 40. But you you could have had your own family You could have done whatever to. the fuck you wanted. It, was just, it rings kid. hollow. He's supposed to be this new bad threat. And he's like, uh, you took my family. I'm going to take yours. And while, whoa, the stakes are up. He's going to uh, murder his son or at least some of his family members are no. going to die to protect. Nobody. There's no stakes. Just, wait, wait, Joe. This. It's a fat. If, All right. No, you nobody know dies. this. You know this. Well, we'll this. talk about it in, spo- in the spoiler section, which is. More they make like fun of it last. Yeah, section. they make fun of it uh, last one. It's like, oh, it's like we have plot armor. We can do whatever we want, and that's basically the running joke. That's what it is. Yeah. So other than some cool action scenes, they take themselves too seriously, and it just brings it down. I was like, I don't give a shit. We're not here for your family. We're just here for the stupidity of this movie, and yeah. you're bringing it down with everything else, and. Trying to make other characters do stupid ass things, they're just there to kind of drive the plot forward, but yeah. it was in the stupidest ways. Yeah, yeah. drive the plot so forward. So here, huh? uh, <laughs> I, I looked it up. It's going to be two films. Mm-hmm. Uh, they said I know people are going to feel like it doesn't have to end. Send Vin, Vin Diesel, but I think all good things should. There's reason for a finale, and I think the franchise has deserved it. Uh, later on, uh, then an interview uh, with Lewis, who replaced Lynn, said. Fast X is big. What we're planning for the next is gigantic. In terms of action, scope, and emotion, you will feel all the feels. Tears will they, roll, he I says. I don't give a shit. There are no feels. If you try to get me with, like, with his son, I didn't give a shit about them kidnapping the son, trying to take his son. I don't care. Yeah. I don't. I really don't. I might be cynical or whatever, but it was bullshit the 11th will at be the, the same time I, at the same time I do want them to continue because I want to see Vin Diesel at 70 mm-hmm. <laughs> Dude, doing the stunts yeah. still with no <laughs> beating up with like a, what is it ILS invisible lat syndrome oh yeah he's always walking around like this yeah <laughs> so 
Yeah, that's my yeah. Take. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm kind of with I'm with both of you guys. I think Jason Momoa is, is was actually it was I was very shocked how much I actually liked his character, and I think that this movie is abysmal, and he really did elevate it, the scenes that he's in it. I mean, he's chewing up scenery, and he's just like he's having a fucking ball. It feels like there's just too many characters. It feels like there's a bunch of almost <laughs> unrelated scenes, barely linked together with explosions. The tone is all over the fucking place. Like, you have Tyrese Gibson being a fucking goofball. And, you know, like, last movie, like you said, he's like, I'm invulnerable. Nothing can happen to me. And he's still this kind of goofy character. And then the very next scene, you got... Vin Diesel, he's like, he wants to talk. You need subtitles. We need subtitles. And then so he has these, like, serious scenes. And so the movie is all over the fucking place. This movie needed to open up with Jason Momoa shooting someone in the fucking face and having them actually die. Because yes. there was no tension in this entire time because we have characters that come back from the fucking... Like, like they, they died. They died on camera. Yeah, and the then guy they, from Tokyo Drift died. Now he's back. And, and the, we're like... Me and Joe were like, excuse me, how did he come and back? And physics don't and count. Say, they say don't... Physics and death what did, don't How count. did they explain his death? I think Mr. Nobody... Uh, oh, so he, like, grabs don't ask him. questions. Yeah, <laughs> and so like the, the, there's a lot of problems with just like the tone of this movie, and I missed a lot of them, and I always explain that the Fast and the Furious Lucky. franchise is like a simmering pot of water, and you guys have been sitting in it when it was room temperature, and you're frogs, and you're hanging out with it, and it's a stupidity no, starts to rise. Some that were good, and I will still defend those. I this didn't see them. just didn't work. Well, so I didn't see him. I didn't see him, and so like the we'll stupid to, starts to rise, to and you guys are sitting there doing that and then it's like i see hobbs and shaw and i see the last one and i see this one and i'm like look man all, all that all i've seen after the first one is stupid and these all these movies have always just been ridiculous because i don't have that nostalgia pulling me like oh this is cool this links here so i yeah. just think this is more of the same than i watched the last two times except for jason momoa was excellent but okay I, you watched the last one yeah is this better or worse than the last one I think it's worse, but I really like Jason Momoa. It's hard to say, right? Yeah. Because yeah. I like Jason. Uh, if I could take Jason out of this one. Oh, it's th this, just is, this is bad. Done. Yeah. I mean, it's just. Uh, so it's it's the set it's pieces tough. suck. The action sequences are eye rolling. And it's just not it's not working anymore for me. It's a parody of a parody. I, <laughs> and they're taking it too serious. It used to be tongue in cheek where they're like, We should have died. I know, right? Yeah. But here it's like we it's do whatever not mentioned. The fuck we want. It's not we mentioned in want. that tongue in cheek kind of way. It's taken super serious and we're trying to make the eye uh, we're trying to make those tears come out. And it's like, bro, you're not at that level. Oh. You don't have the writing chops. No. You don't have the characters. You're going from scene to scene. Literally a scene is like uh, you know, it, it just it hyper jumps from ev from next scene to next scene. It's just an excuse to go to the next location and for one or two characters to have. Yeah. And then you mentioned that Tyree, you know, he's all funny. And in this one, they get into a fucking fight over nothing. And they're not actually punching each other and just beating each other up. He's the worst leader. And it sucks. <laughs> I don't get it. It's not funny. Pete yeah. Davidson is in it for none no the, reason. None of the humor Like the worked. whole, that whole one, sequence. One humor thing worked. Mm -hmm. The when subplot he... was so fucking annoying. I hated it. And yeah, I only think I laughed maybe one or two times. When Momoa pulls out his tooth and throws it at him, it's his yeah. butthole. Funniest like, part the of the hell, whole franchise. Butthole? Yeah. <laughs> See? I, I laughed See, that's at funny. that. That was the and one I will funny say, part. I will say Pete Davidson had the other funny line where when they're fighting in a fucking, you know, piece of shit internet cafe with awful computers, CRT monitors and copiers from 30 years ago, they start fighting and, and running into things. And he's like, you guys are causing like multiple dollars worth of damage. And said the hundreds of dollars, he's like a few dollars worth of damage. <laughs> Not worth the price of admission. And it's, it's true, right? It's not worth <laughs> the price of admission. And this stuff is funnier than it comes across yeah. on screen. Um, I don't know, man. This one just didn't work for me, and I think, I think it was, it all just came crashing down, and it's falling apart, and uh, I couldn't even enjoy it really for just the action sequences because at this point I expect ridiculous action. Yeah, exactly. And the ridiculous action never rose to the levels of any of the previous ridiculous action. And now when I see it, when it attempts to, it's like, oh, God. Yeah, that's, that was so fucking stupid. It's like, what was your plan here? That made no sense if you followed through. What what did he do? Did he just use a car to hit a fucking crane? And then the crane, uh, did he did he do the calculations in his head? Mm -hmm. Right, you know, it's he like, you didn't, you didn't do that last time because they just did it 
And then they kind of laughed about it, and it was fun. And this one is fucking serious. That's what it is. This movie is just like, shit happens. Yeah. Shit just happens. This is what this movie is. The next is. scene, shit happens. The next <laughs> scene, shit happens. Man. <laughs> uh, I have bad news, though. Uh, in May 2023, during the film's premiere in Rome, Diesel claimed that Universal requested that the series be extended to a three-part finale, thus extending the main series to oh, 12 God. films. That's what Universal wants, and I'm pretty sure that's what Diesel was going to give them. Because, like I said, this film ends and it like it's not finished. Again, so I want to see seventy year old Vin more Diesel. Jason. We're gonna get more of these doing characters. his own stunts. They, you know, when we said there's no stakes, they try to make it seem like there's stakes, but you don't see anything on screen. It's never mentioned. The film ends, and you just gotta wait till the next film to see that everybody's okay and we're a big family now. And I'm like, just fuck. Here's the thing: the next film has to. Like the fuck, he this guy himself says this one is amazing. Next one's gigantic. It has to be because I am no idea. longer. I'm what is Alex? I'm no longer on board for the silly action. If we're gonna be this bad, so the Brit like a whole bunch of shit happens and maybe somebody dies. They go back in time. They they do the time travel. <laughs> Delorean. Time Someone dies travel. finally, and they go back well, they in time. <laughs> physics all the time anyway, so we might as well break the law. They logs. already went uh -huh. to space. How, space. Where else can you time. go? Yeah, I wish they actually went to space. They did do like fucking orbit, but I, I wanted they even went to more. Space I wanted apartment. Jason X space shit. Like, but anyway, or he comes back <laughs> as a ghost. <laughs> ghost Diesel. Um. Yeah. So Lynn left as a director, uh, citing creative differences. Creative differences. The, the, so the guy that directed the last one and then the other previous like, one, I was enjoying myself. And I think I agree with Justin Lynn's direction and what he was doing. So uh, he cited creative differences. Uh, then uh, Le Terrier was then hired as a replacement a week later and performed several uncredited rewrites to the screenplay. And then they rushed it and they did this and then they did that. And that, that, that. Yep. And I felt it. I, I felt yeah, it. Yeah. it like, like you mentioned, it feels like all of the actors went into the writing room and demanded that they all get cool. Like, I want to do this. I want to be punching a guy who's in uh, a punching bag. And I want to have this scene where I, I kill two helicopters yeah. with a car. And I want to do like, this. I've never done the combat like y'all have. And I want the scene where like I fucking knock him. I'm half this guy's size and I knock him off his feet and then I do a fucking wrestling move. Ludacris gets something like that. And I'm like, that that was simply filmed because yeah, that Ludacris needs a moment. Yeah, I want to hack the thing, you know, the with the... Don't even... Let, don't, we'll get to the spoiler section because that's going to be a it separate video. So... Um, you can download the video if you feel like it, uh, but or just I, like, I accept I that we have different opinions. Yeah. Or it's uh, the internet. <laughs> be Alex. reasonable. You could. Be the, reasonable. You could. In, okay. Online? Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I like this franchise, and I was disappointed by what I saw. Okay. I don't think it was better than the last one. I think it's one of the one of the worst ones. It is. Definitely higher budget than some of these things that we've seen, like the Fast and Furious, Tokyo Drift, and some of these other ones. The, it is just. B movie shit with tons of money, three hundred and seventy-five million dollar budget, uh, oh, and geez. and it's just fucking stupid, stupid. It's cringe, stupid, and stupid, stupid. Now instead of dumb fun, dumb stupid, stupid fun, um, and I hope the the next one. I don't really have hope for the next one. All I want to see is Jason Momoa killing people. And I, I hope we're going to see that a little bit more in, in the next one. Yeah. Uh, because Jason Momoa basically carries the film with his mm -hmm. uh, psychotic uh, performance. Joker, he's, he's, yeah, mm -hmm. he's kind of a, 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 definitely a character. There is a really dark scene in this film it's with great. two cadavers and dead bodies. And I was like, what the fuck? And it, it, it looks gross. And if this is a fa family, family, you bring in your family as like a family film. I'm like, and it feels like a scene that could easily be cut out and left on a cutting room floor for DVD, like specials and extras. And I'm like, wow, that was, they just. This is right. a very cynical film. The kid cynical. kills multiple people and laughs about it. Mm -hmm. Not only that, <laughs> but they have he a kills stupid <laughs> subplot. And we'll get to details that we can remember in the spoiler section. But I have to point this out. Um, there's a subplot with the agency. So as we know, over time, our 
car thieves and DVD thieves have turned into international spies with this agency that they work with. Well, the agency fucking betrays them, right? And so we have our heroes literally killing other heroes. They literally, and they're literally, they're killing the agency because the agency shows up to kidnap them and take them to jail. And then they just start pouring bullets into the agency. Yeah, in the first 10 and minutes. And it's never addressed. It's never mentioned. Yeah. We're just killing agents and officers now. But they're wearing helmets. So and then everything's people. okay. Well, in the first 10 minutes. They were all rubber bullets? Like, no, they're all wearing helmets, so helmets. they don't count as people. <laughs> okay. You can't see their face, right. so it True. doesn't matter. Yeah. They're yeah. just nobody. It's NPCs. Yeah. So in the first 10 minutes, there's like uh, 20... Or 30 double crosses. It's like, I double cross you. No, I double crossed you. Well, it took thir- t- 10 <laughs> minutes after the credits because, you know, they replay fast sev- eight yeah. or something. Uh, yeah, and then after that, it's like, double oh, yeah, cross, the d- double okay, cross. Okay, got it, double, double cross. cross you. Yeah, yeah. I knew I couldn't count on you, so I did this. Yeah, because Jason shows up <laughs> with two guys that he just fucking beat up, and he's in the fucking main boss. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Charlie Simple Theron's Jack. Simple Jack. fucking thing. <laughs> What's Simple Jack? What is that? Simple Jack <laughs> is from Tropic Thunder. Funny. Put up tro- a picture oh, side by side. Yeah, yeah. And it's, okay, I don't yeah. remember. I'll send it to you. Oh, the ball head haircut? Yeah. Okay. Well, she doesn't have that. Luckily, she doesn't have that haircut in this one. They got serious with it. She looked like a penis head in the last one. Anyways, there's some double crosses and shit there. Yeah, we'll so, talk more uh, about it in spoilers. So, uh, I guess y'all we'll... can even remember because... There's so many d- it, dumb yeah. subplots that, that suck. Mm-hmm. So, All right, let's go ahead and go to final verdict, Joe. Uh, best thing I could do is... Uh, the best I can do. <laughs> what do we have? The pawn, pawn Legends? The only reason why best I'm giving I can it do. an extra point, I'm going to give four. Best a point. A four. A four. You were going to give it a three. I was going to give it three, but I What's do like... What's the four like for? Jason. Jason. It's the only thing. He's yeah. like, okay, he's on screen, and he's on it quite a bit. Yes. Like, okay, that's... Yes. It's, it's cool. But other than that, Bro, they took themselves too seriously with these stupid moments. Yeah. It's like, oh, he's dying in my arms. Like some okay, random a new person. character that just I, shows I up, care. this chick that nobody cares need, about. We need somebody to die. So it's like, okay, this person is like, I don't care about Try this person. Yeah. So Vin Diesel just like pouring his heart out. And it's like, <laughs> I, I don't care. I don't care either. Uh, who? Who Does, is the audience like really into this shit? And that's why like this one is way better than the last one. There's a lot There's of emotion passionate here. Fans out There's there, a lot of emotion here. I was there. I was just there just to have fun. It's me in the field. I'm not there for the story because that oh, shit. You go for a fast X for a story. You're going to have a bad time. you have a bad time. So I was just there for the explosion and just shit to happen. But I was disappointed. Four for me only because of Jason. Yeah, I think this one is is worse than the the last one. I think the action is just not up to par, even for like the ridiculousness of like Hobbs and Shaw and the other one that I've seen, which was was nine. Um, so everything everything here is a pretty pretty big downgrade, with with the exception that Jason Momoa's a villain character was really interesting to watch, and he would be the only reason, other than I'm being forced to watch any of the the other ones that they're going to come after this. Um, the story is worse. There's just too many characters, and on top of that, uh, that we're they're t- we're adding more characters into the final two movies, and so I'm really not looking <coughs> forward to the ones that are coming later. There's too much happening here. There's too many storylines that don't earn their place. And when you have multiple storylines, and there's like five different sequences with different groups doing things, some of them are going to be more interesting. Yep. Some of them are going to be way less interesting. And we spend and too much. One, they're all, all not interesting. Yeah, and then some of them try to be super mm-hmm. silly, while other ones are like taking themselves like Vin Diesel thinks he's doing Shakespeare in the park sometimes <laughs> and it just doesn't fucking work like it does not work and it just I don't oh, know what's car happening door fucking <laughs> yeah. shields and <clears throat> gunfire and he's just walking out in the open and he's because he's, he's, he's bulletproof and he knows what's happening it, it's just I don't know this the, this franchise hasn't been for me I think I missed too much of the stuff in the middle to really like well, let's ha- have a recap you know I, I'm good I, I, don't, I, don't, <laughs> I think I think it's important for me to have a unique view on the franchise so you I definitely not. should not have to watch any of those other movies ah. so I think this movie is every bit uh, like almost every uh, worse in every single way so I would normally give it a three but I'm also going to do the thing where I, I upgrade it to a four I think it's a below average movie yep. if you're here for explosions i think you could do better yeah we're actually fucking in agreement uh you could do better there's nine other better films well some of them aren't as strong as the others so let's just call let's call it five there's five other better films in this franchise itself uh if you just want to see the continuation of the characters that's cool man if you want to see jason momoa's performance i'm with you i appreciate it, it, it he's the best in the in, in the film uh, I was between a four and a five, uh, an average film, but I think this one just really 
I don't know if because we watched it in early morning. We we watched it eleven no, twenty a.m. Nobody was in the theater. Uh, I don't think it's gonna do bad. I just think that nobody goes to on Friday yep. at eleven. Um, and I just it just didn't work for me this time for all of the reasons that Alex, me, and Joe just laid out. Just just so that you understand. Don't tell me it's supposed to be stupid. Like we've already addressed that <laughs> fucking point. Well, now you're writing it anyway. Probably. All right, four out of ten as well. We all are on the same score. Last one, I gave a six out of ten in case you wanted some context on that. Um, Did you ever see Super Fast? What is Super Fast? It's a no. spoof. This, this oh, is already God a spoof. It, it, you, can't, you can't spoof a movie series that's already it's spoofing dumb. itself. It's dumb. Uh, some of you might have seen it, but it's dumb. dumb. One person in there is like, yeah, I saw it. <laughs> it's so stupid. So I I'm going to I'm gonna round up and down on these scores just so we can. I'm on uh, Rotten Tomatoes. Once we do this, we'll go to the spo- uh, separate video for spoiler section. But Fast and the Fury, we're going to do critics first. So these are all going to be low, right? Because critics racing. <laughs> racing sucks. And this, this shit sucks. Well, the fir- first Fast and Furious rounding down 50, or a 5. Uh, Fast and Furious 2, uh, 4. Uh, Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, 4. Fast and Furious 2009, uh, 3. Fast 5, uh, rounding out at 8. Uh, f- Fast and Furious 6, 7. Fast and Furious 7, 8. That's the one that I think people consider the best one. Fast and F- Fate of the Furious, this is eight. Uh, round it up. Uh, seven. Uh, Fast and Furious Hobbs and Shaw. It's the side thing. Seven. Uh, F9, six. Uh, and then Fast 8 or Fast 10, five. What's so that? here's the audience now. The first one, uh, seven. Second one, five. Uh, third one, seven. Fourth one, seven. Fast five, eight. Uh, fast six. Eight, F- Furious Seven, Eight, Fate of the Furious Seven, Fast and Furious Hobbs and Shaw. They got eight. That's a nine, eighty-eight percent round up to a nine. Oof. Uh, F nine, eight, and this one is sitting at eighty-five percent. So I, I think it's at nine technically from the audience. Maybe an eight when people calm down, because obviously when movies first come out, I know Joe. We're in bizarre world here. It's whatever. So, it's whatever. <laughs> it's whatever. I know. <laughs> Anyways, and I've had a few people I talked to just like, yeah, have you seen Fast Seven? It's better than the last one. Amazing. Like, okay. Can you explain why? But they did play, pick out Jason Momoa. I think I think Jason Momoa is a crowd pleaser, and he oh is he just does yeah awesome he just uh, he got that charisma so yeah so that I th- I think that's what people are, are focusing on, and maybe they haven't subjected themselves like you and me. To all nine other film of the film, or, or super fast, don't watch it. Or super fast. <laughs> anyway, so that's that's gonna be it for this one. We will talk spoilers if we can remember all the fucking subplots. It literally go, um, you know, a fucking mile a minute. There's two, three minutes for each scene until we fly to Rome, and then we go back to London, and then we go to Antarctica, <laughs> and then we go to fucking Rio, and then we go to Portugal. Fucking, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, thank you all guys so much for watching. We will see you in the ridiculous plot holes, stupid moments, and spoiler section. Bye, guys.